and welcome to my channel. My name is Daisy G for those that don't know me um, and I do hear YouTube videos obviously. Today's look as you can tell is the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, this is my first time playing with watercolor paints. I have these two palettes that I order in Amazon and they're from the brand Maron. I believe that's how you pronounce it and I mix two greens. Um, this is the like spring colors I'm gonna call it so they have this like lime green and then the basic palette that has the basic colors is this one and I took the dark green and I mix them to give this effect of this green and then I had this palette that I had ordered last year from Amazon or eBay and I took the silver um, color to add on the stitches to make it pop a little bit more and for eyeshadow I just used my regular Morphe 35W um, eye palette that I have. They're the only Morphe eye palette that I have at the moment. Um, and yes, um, I invite you to stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for those of you who are coming back to keep on watching my videos that I post. And please follow me on my social media. I'll leave you the links down below. And I'll see you to the next time. Bye. And well, to start with this look, I am priming my face just because it's face paint. I am using the Wet n Wild primer. Um, then I went ahead and damp a sponge with a little bit of water and I just start, you know, mixing both of the green colors that I showed you from the uh, Maron palette and I'm using a sponge and then I go back to a brush just, you know, to try to take away any streaking um, that the paint leaves. I just wanted it to look a little bit more flawless than, you know, just stripes all over. Um, for the eyebrows, I am using the same um, palette. I'm using the black paint and this brush came with the palette which I like because it's pretty thin. And well for the eyeshadow, I did mix a light purple with a dark purple. Um, I am just blending it all over my eye crease and for the middle part I use a metallic color just to give it a little bit of a pop. And well, to highlight my face, I went ahead and used these oil paints that I had ordered on Amazon or eBay. I'll leave all the materials that I use in the description bottom below if you're interested. And I just highlight my face as normal. I did um, try to blend the most I could. Um, also, um, I started doing my eyeliner with the same palette. I grabbed the black paint and I try to do like a long eyeliner. Well, to make this uh, look a little bit more girly, I did add some false eyelashes I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, you could go ahead and not do this if you don't want. Next, I went ahead and took the black paint again and I started making my incisions where she's cut with stitches. Um, as you can see, some of them are not perfect. I do go back with the wipey and water and just wipe off where I made a mistake. That's the good thing about these paints that if you make a mistake, you could go ahead and just grab a little bit of water and it's going to come off immediately and go back and do you know the color you were using um i did do like stitches all over my face and neck i also wanted to add a little bit of a pop so i went back to the oil paints and i started using the silver color and just you know making the crosses the stitches so they could pop out a little bit more and just to highlight you know the cuts i did go back with the red oil paint and I traced the black line a little bit, shaded it in, took a look more realistic I believe. And to make my eyes pop a little bit more, I do take a jumbo white eyeliner from NYX um, in the color Milk. For my lips, I wanted them purple too, but I didn't feel it was dark enough. So I go back and use a black lipstick I had from Wet n Wild, which I love and it was only like a dollar at Target. I do use mascara too for my eyelashes. And for my hair, I just went ahead and put it down and I did two white streaks on each end. I do grab some bobby pins to tie them up. And like I said, this look is really easy. I really loved it because it's all in water-based paint. 
and you guys could do it. Anybody could do this look. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you till next time. Thank you.